Fearless is DC Comics' first comedy. It's very exciting. Uh, normally, superheroes are really glamorized and looked up to. Our show isn't about them. It's about the people who live in a world filled with them. We work at an insurance company, so we're kind of the people to pick up after the supers. What was it like shooting the pilot? Amazing! <laughs> It was great. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot of fun. These guys are all such pros and amazing comedians. I feel like such an underdog. <laughs> like, I do. Yeah, it's not your typical comedy show because we got to see actual, like, DC set pieces with DC superheroes. Yeah. Well, I was just going to bring that up. Are yeah. there any characters, DC characters, that we see in the pilot? What can we say? Are we allowed to say? Are we allowed to say? I don't know. Jack O'Lantern <laughs> uh, is in it. <laughs> um, Crimson, Fox. Crimson Fox is in it. Yeah. Now, can each of you tell me, how does your character fit into this powerless world and what exactly is your role? We'll start with Alan. I am the villain. I'm the, I, I sort of, I'm the powerless villain. Okay. Uh, within our office, it sort of, it arranges <laughs> like that. Right. She's the hero and I'm, I'm the Lex Luthor type. I'm the new boss who's terrible at his job. All right. Yeah. And I play Emily Luck. Uh, she is the powerless hero. Um, she is the head of claims at the insurance company. She loves what she does, but she struggles with Feeling like she has purpose and meaning. Um, so it's really about finding her own power. Danny? I play a friend. <laughs> and he's also powerless. His name is Teddy, but he likes to have fun and he has the power of friendship. He my does. Power it's true, of friendship is which strong. is underrated. Right. Uh, it doesn't really help in like superhero battles, but he's a good friend. He's got bad posture, he's working on it. Okay. And I think that's what the show's about. Working on our posture. Now, what are you guys most excited for fans to see in the show? You know, whenever you have superheroes, we bring, you know, it's an office comedy, so, we, so there's a real element to it, and it, it's juxtaposed against these superheroes, where, you know, the idea that superheroes might need to go to the bathroom, you know, that, you know bring the real world in, in, into their insane, we sort of live in a Gotham-type city, it's called Harmony. So I, I think that'll be fun. You guys really want to see your characters actually get superpowers or become the supervillain, or are you just happy being an employee at the insurance company? You're shaking your head no. So yeah, I don't yeah. want any superpowers. I want to be just be a, a better human. I just want to like learn how to like, you know, not fidget. That's like if I could learn how to not fidget. Fidget man. Like yeah, like, or just to be uh, to control my fidgeting powers. That's the goal. Well, since since you are all insurance employees. What DC superhero do you think you would constantly have to file claims for? Aquaman. Oh yeah. yeah. That guy is stinking every water damage. Water everything smells like fish. It's worse yeah. than smoke damage. You can't get it out of the furniture Ooh. or the walls. Make sure you guys send in your entries for the Squad Up cosplay contest by Wednesday, June 29th. And you can submit for as many categories as you want. Now, if you've sent in a photo but you don't see it on the website, that means something went wrong with your entry. So take another look at the official rules, make sure you didn't miss anything, and then resubmit by Wednesday. For all the details, head over to dccomics.com slash squad up. See you tomorrow.